biomedical engineering technology is really focused on how do we take care of medical equipment? How do we install it? How do we manage it? You know, how do we use it and also make sure it's calibrated correctly? As far as medical device design and prototyping, Tampa Bay Area is actually one of the lead places for medical device manufacturing in the country. So we have a lot of small and medium-sized businesses that are looking to hire people with familiarity in design, prototyping, and the regulations involved in manufacturing medical devices. Students can work for hospital systems, for OEMs, Original Equipment Manufacturers. So these are companies that make medical devices and that need to either service it or repair it once it gets sent in. And also for what's called third-party service providers. And these are people who are contracted out by hospitals or clinicals. We teach in a variety of course formats, including live online, face-to-face, -face, and hybrid. So where we have students uh, both working uh, remotely, but also able to come into the lab to complete assignments and activities that way. Most students complete the program in a little less than two years. If you're coming in with a AA or prior degree, you can get it done in, in a year. The program at St. Petersburg College is pretty unique. We have a really great lab. As you can see, we have lots of great equipment, lots of things to use, but we also uh, have some specialties that a lot of other places don't offer. So we offer focuses in both cybersecurity and networking of medical devices, and also uh, focuses in medical device prototyping and manufacturing, which are, are very unique in the country. Some places our graduates are employed at include Baycare Hospital System, Tampa General, Manatee Memorial Hospital, Lakeland Regional. One of the best things about dealing with medical technology is that there's always new problems and always new things coming. There's always new technology in the pipeline, and there's always new things that have to be learned. So it's, a, it's an area, it's a career field that you're always learning more, and you're continually getting exposed to the latest new medical technology. We're constantly changing our curriculum, constantly looking at, okay, what skills, what content do our students need to be familiar with so that they can succeed? And we, that's ultimately what we want. We want our students to succeed and to be satisfied with their careers.